Hi, Debbie. Hi, guys. I have some time to do. I just got done doing some client readings, so I'm going to be uploading those later. But um, I have some time to come on here and do some readings. I thought I would do some readings for the zodiac signs. Um, <clears throat> this will be a video that will be um, available for replay. So if you guys can't stay or whatever, because I know it's like it's the middle of the day. So people, I figured um, they can watch the replay and I'll just do the readings for you guys so you can see. Um, but I wanted to, I want to read on the signs because we're actually coming into the month of April and since we're almost there, why don't we do some insights? So let's do some readings for that. So let's start with, um, earth energies, which are earthies are what my Taurus, my Capricorns and what is the other earth sign? I just had my book out. <laughs> I'm still learning my astrology. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so my earthies are Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So let's read Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn first. Um... And this is looking at the month of um, April. So I'm going to be reading with my Rider Waite deck and the Psychic Tarot. So for my Earth energies, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the High Priestess. So this combo um, is definitely showing... Working towards, so some of you, working towards your spiritual goals, connecting with spirit, working with your spiritual journey. Some of you are going through awakenings, your intuition. Working. So I'm seeing high priestess energy here. We have the intuition card, high with the intuition. It keeps reconnecting. I hope you guys are able to see. I'm like connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know why it's like not working. <laughs> So for those of you who are earth energy, your intuition is going to be on point for the month of April. And it's actually asking, the tarot saying with the eight of pentacles is actually guiding you to keep building towards that. So those of you guys who are going through some spiritual awakenings, you want to connect with spirit, you want to connect with, you know, your guides or your angels or your past loved ones or whatever. Um, the month of April for you guys is going to be powerful. The waiting game though. So the waiting game can also reveal um, some things, some expectations you may have for the month of April. Some of that stuff might take some time. Don't be impulsive also is the other thing I'm seeing. So we're talking about earth energies right now. So if you are a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, don't be impulsive for the month of April. Be very mindful of actions. Be very mindful of what you say. A knight of swords can sometimes spout off. <laughs> they may bite their tongue. They may say more than they're supposed to. So be very careful with what you say to people. Um, working hard. A lot of you guys are going to be working hard towards a goal. Okay. So April is the month for you to really get moving with projects for you to rebuild studying perhaps, or this is a month for, um, maybe if you're like me, we're starting, I'm starting a new job in April. So this is building up to that. Um, so be very mindful for you. This, again, for those of you guys who just joined, this is earth energy. So Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. And with the High Priestess, for those of you making your decisions, trust that intuition, your sixth sense, whatever you feel, <laughs> trust all of that when you're making your decisions because High Priestess energy and the intuition card is on your side. It's just basically showing you guys um, intuitively you're going to be very connected. So that is my earthy energy for my earth babies. Let's talk about fire. So we have, for fire, we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So if you are an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, 
And I would say if you are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, either, either in the So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, or Rising, this is going to be for you guys for the month of April. Recognition and reward, truth, and stand your ground. There might be some, uh, some drama coming up for you guys. <laughs> Let's see. So fire signs for April, page of wands, fool and magician. Wow. Okay. So for the fire signs, what I'm seeing here, this truth card is really sticking out to me. Same with the fool energy. Um, you guys, either you're going to be caught up in some kind of a conversation. <laughs> or I'm so sorry, you guys, if, if it, the video keeps going out. Maybe it's like where I have, I wanna, maybe I should move this so you guys can see the table. My table is so small, my reading table. Maybe if I have the direction of the camera a little bit different, it won't, it won't keep going out. But what I'm seeing here for, um, for the month of April for the fire signs, there's gonna be either conf a conflict or a confrontation, but it's really gonna be powerful for you guys. One, speaking your truth, but being very careful with the way you deliver it because you fire signs can be very aggressive in the way that you um, explain or express yourselves. You guys can kind of get straight to the point but be a little bit blunt. Um, so it's going to be really good for you to be mindful of that. Um, the magician energy, you have a lot of um, ability to manifest this month for you guys. This is a powerful time for you. Standing your ground though, I love it. I feel like the... The stance in these two cards is very similar. Um, standing your ground, you know, staying within your inner power, believing in yourselves, um, and don't veer off the path just because someone is giving you trouble. Because I do feel like a lot of you guys, for April, you guys, the fire signs, are going to be um, falling into some people just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> trying to take the limelight, trying to push you off the path, really getting on your nerves. I feel like a lot of you guys, your attention span is going to be just in a conflict with some people. That's the vibe that I'm feeling. The page of wands, new ideas coming into play. So April, you might be um, really inspired with something new coming up into the mix. A good time for new projects or plans. Um, getting ready perhaps you're preparing for the summer there's a lot of a lot of good things happening for you guys with the Aries um, Aries Leo Sagittarius but don't be the fool <laughs> I feel like the full energy is obviously he's starting the journey and he's you know taking his risks and whatnot but I also feel like don't be the fool in the way that you communicate with people don't spout off don't say things that you really don't mean be very mindful of how you talk to people because like I said, you guys can be very blunt and straightforward. And some people don't like that. Um, some people are a little bit more sensitive, especially if you're talking to a fishy like me, a Pisces. Um, you know, <laughs> just be a little mindful. I do get the energy that Aries, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, some of you guys might be a little bit more um, your, uh, your patience is going to be running thin with some people in your life the month of April. And just some people are going to get on your nerves. So that's another, like, intuitively, that's what I'm feeling. Um, but it basically, the whole thing, the whole theme for the month for you guys is just um, standing your ground. Don't let people get to you to the point where, you know, you don't focus or you can't stay on top of your projects. Like, people are going to piss you off, but um, <laughs> don't let them completely push you off your game. You have goals to, to do. You have ideas and plans and blah, blah, blah. People will just be how they are. So that's for the fire sign. And again, you guys, those of you guys who just jumped in, I'm doing readings for the month of April for the signs and the elements. Um, so if you didn't catch yours right now, I will have it on the replay for you. That's your mom's sign. <laughs> We'll see how your mom is this, this for the month of April. She might be a little bit, um, maybe a little frustrated. Okay, so now let's talk about, ooh, let's talk about air. That card wants to come out, so we'll leave that. Let's talk about the air signs. So what are my air signs? There's 
and bear with me because I'm still learning my astrology, but my air signs are um, Gemini, <laughs> Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Did I get that right? I know Aquarius is an air sign and Gemini. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's do air. So if you have an air sun sign or an air rising sign, this is the one you want to pay attention to. Whoop, there we go. We got cards that want to come out. So air signs, which is Gemini. Let me check my, my little book here. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, and um, Aquarius. Ooh, Triumph, Hope, Firm Foundation. This is a powerful month for you guys, too. Star, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups. Oh, yeah, there is a lot of stuff going on for you guys. So what I'm seeing here is major energy boosts for air signs for the month of April. Major energy boosts, major... Um, Having lots of um, <laughs> lots of confidence, a confidence boost here. Um, finding the words to step up to people, to be able to say the things that you need to say. Queen of Wands, this is like just feeling on fire. You feel like your purpose. You're, you're really tracking into your purpose. You are really doing the things that you want to do. You're saying what you want to say. You're inspired. You feel like you want to create. Um, also kick-ass wardrobes. So maybe some of you guys are going to be adding to your spring summery wardrobes, shopping. I don't know. I always throw that in there because I always see Queen of Wands as a fashionista. <laughs> um, celebrations. There's going to be a lot of things to celebrate or a lot of new um, vacations being made or perhaps um, lots of vacations or a, a sick day. Take a sick day. Go out and enjoy. Celebrate. Do something for the month of April. So this is um, Air Signs. Three of Cups could also be um, a reunion of some sort. So maybe some of you will be getting together with some friends, um, long lost friends, reconnecting with coworkers, making new friends. Those of us who are starting new jobs, perhaps we will be making new friends. Um, the star card is revealing a lot of having hope, which I love because we have hope here. So a lot of that double hope is invested either in other people Maybe you are making amends with a long lost friend. Maybe you are, you know, forgiving someone for something. Maybe you're actually having a meeting. You're going to make plans to get together to sit with that person that, you know, you had a disconnect with and now you are able to be reconnected. I'm actually going to be doing this if the plans fall through. Um, I reconnected with an old friend that I actually, <laughs> I was actually the one that was being a bitch to her. I feel really bad. And I reconnected with her two months ago. I messaged her and I apologized. And so hopefully we'll be able to um, get together and have lunch so I could talk to her face to face and really share with her how sorry I am. Um, so this is big for me, um, even though I'm not, um, oh, well, I have a Gemini rising. So I guess that would be it, having those com conversations. But um, so a lot of forgiveness this month for my air signs. Um, and also being the bigger person. That's a big one too for you guys. Being the bigger person and perhaps initiating the conversation. Air signs are really good with communicating. You are really good with, um, you know, starting the conversation, breaking the ice, that kind of thing. The foundation card came up also. So perhaps that's what you need to do um, to break the ice. <clears throat> Reset those boundaries or remove the boundaries that you have with people or certain topics or subjects in your life. I feel like the, the month of April for the air signs is going to be a lot of healing, a lot of forgiveness, and just a lot of moving forward. We have the triumph card. Obviously, it's a good thing. So if you are thinking about forgiving, thinking of moving on, reconnecting, because that three of um, cups can be maybe reconnecting with people that you lost um, communication with, that's going to be big for you guys. So remember that um, for the month of April for the air signs, um, that'll be big. And I feel like with the queen of wands, you are grown. <laughs> you are grown and you are taking initiative and you are, you know, being the bigger person. So I think that's the big message here for you. 
And lastly, we have the water signs. I save water for last because those are the ones I know the most. <laughs> and um, so water signs, we have Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. So if you have a sun in Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or a rising, this is for you guys for the month of April. I'm really curious to see because I have a Pisces sun. But that air one really resonated with me, so... <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to have breakfast or lunch with that friend that I was talking about. Ooh, Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles, The Magician. Okay. Let's pull from the Psychic Tarot first before I dive in. Okay, Spirit is telling me that for some of us water signs, um, we're going to have a rocky start. We're either going to be um, self-conscious in a situation or we're going to feel very doubtful, okay? So it's going to be heavily on us, on our mind. But what the other cards are showing, the Page of Pentacles, is like believing in yourself. And then, of course, the Magician is like really um, playing, like following through, making your, you know, you have the power to make your dreams a reality, that kind of thing. So it's more of like... I feel what I'm feeling intuitively is a lot of our self-confidence, our self-esteem is going to be what we're struggling with for the month of April. So this is water signs. Um, but when we realize it, we realize we have so much more to offer than we give ourselves credit for. Typical water sign issues, right? <laughs> we always doubt ourselves. We have the waiting game, material, spiritual, prosperity, and sacrifice. We are... <laughs> We are the biggest sacrificers, um, even especially Pisces. We are very, um, we do, we have the martyr complex. So we, we feel like we always have to be the ones to sacrifice all the time, right? <laughs> but um, I feel like what it is, is we think we, we have that self-doubt. We tear ourselves up so much, but we forget that we have the ability to be really good. So what I'm seeing is the waiting game. When you feel yourself falling in that pit, that mental pit of like stress, you're doubting yourself, you're, you know, this all your mind, you can't sleep, whatever. The waiting game is saying like, wait it out. Don't make ma any brash decisions until you've waited it out. Figure it out first, weigh out your options, material and spiritual prosperity way out and this was a message for a client that I just did by the way Mer material and spiritual prosperity is weighing out your material so you have material in one hand which is what your bills your mortgage your rent um you know the projects work whatever all your real life stuff right and then the spiritual in the other hand is your spiritual journey tarot your astrology like all of that other crap that you love and really weighing out the two. And this is heavy for water signs because as water signs are very intuitive. So the majority of us water signs are very in touch with our spiritual side. So I feel like this the month of April is try not to give too much weight and time, attention, love on one side and neglect the other. So make sure you guys are balancing out both your spiritual life and your real life. So that's a big message. <laughs> and sacrifice. Sometimes water signs, we have to sacrifice things to gain others. So sacrificing your comfort, sacrificing um, plans. Maybe you have to, you know, um, cancel on plans for the benefit of something else. Whatever the case may be, sacrifice could be a lesson for the month of April for us. Um, but I do feel like it's balancing having an even balance of our spirituality stuff, like the things we love, and then also our reality, so that we're not putting too much um, too much energy and time on one and then neglecting the other. So that's for the water sign. That's a powerful message, I feel, because I think a lot of times when we're stressing, when this shit happens, 
we tend to put so much focus on one area in our life, we forget the other. It's almost like, I know a lot of water signs, like they forget, you know, oh my gosh, I didn't eat today, or oh my gosh, I didn't call back so-and-so, or I didn't pay the bill, or whatever, you know, we get so caught up in it. And I know a lot of you guys, those of you guys who are water signs can relate. Um, so don't let your stresses consume you, and make sure you put an even balance in the two, reality versus spirituality, okay? So... <laughs> thank you guys for watching um like i said i'll put this in the replay for those of you who are at work or school and you couldn't watch everything but i just wanted to jump on here and do um some readings for the month of april um so i hope you enjoyed and i have some comments here I can't believe i didn't miss this i always miss your lives no jana i know some people always miss the lives because either um i really honestly let me fix this. <laughs> Honestly, I jump on live when I get a chance to. It is very rare. I live at home with my parents, me and my husband. <sighs> and they're very like, there's no privacy in this house. So when they leave, I have time to jump on. And they left this afternoon. So um, I have a headache. Like I have like a, one of those, I don't even know what kind of headache it is. It's like right above my eye. Um, but I wanted to jump on anyway because I just finished readings and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of this. So I'm going to pop this on YouTube and, and all of that. But, um, I just wanted you guys to just, you know, see me and say hello and put my face on here. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I never get to do this as much. I'm reading the comments. I don't get to do this as much as I want to. So it's nice when I get to Miss Jackie says, Rose, I swear your readings always resonate with me. I'm glad. I am so glad. It makes me happy to hear that they resonate. My husband is a cancer and we just talked about everything you discussed. Yay! Yeah. Um, if sometimes you guys, those of you guys who like to watch my readings, if, and it's another disclosure I want to put, if my readings don't resonate with you, there will always be another reader whose readings will resonate with you. Um, which is why it's important to follow other readers too. You will always have your favorites. Like I have my favorites, but sometimes my favorites will post a reading and I'm like, oh, that doesn't really fit with me. But then another one that I will watch will resonate so, so much more. So, um, you know, just, you can have multiple readers that you go to for your insights. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I will talk to you guys later and start uploading. I got to upload my client video readings, so. Have a beautiful day, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.